Good morning, friends and family. It's Travis again, and today I'm going to do a quick hike up to Laurel Falls. Um, been a little while since I've been up there, but I just wanted to go up there and check it out, see uh, what the water levels are looking like. But before I get started, let me give you some directions on how to get here, and those are coming up right now. If you're driving from the Maryville, Alcoa area, you'll pass through the city of Townsend. When you get up here to the Townsend Y, you want to bear to the left. If you turn right, that takes you back towards Cades Cove, but we are going left towards Gatlinburg today. So we're coming up here to the parking area. I'm just gonna pull in here and get situated. Uh, just for an FYI, it took me about 21 minutes to get from the towns and Y to here. All right, so welcome back. As I mentioned, I'm up here uh, hiking up to Laurel Falls. I'm actually gonna be going uh, down here to check out the quiet walkway, which is just down from Laurel Falls, but I thought while I'm here, go ahead and uh, hike up, see what the waterfall looks like. So this is, I think, 1.3 miles, one way, 2.6 round trip, and uh, should take me a little over an hour, so won't be uh, too long of a hike, but still worth seeing. One of my favorite waterfalls, you just gotta get up here early before it gets really busy. And, they were supposed to close down Laurel Falls this year for like 18 months to work on a reconstruction project. But um, as you can tell, it doesn't look like anything's been done. And I've been by here a few times and so far, I mean, it has not been closed. So maybe they're uh, holding off until next year. But right now it's still the same. All right, so today is Sunday, September the 8th. And I failed to mention earlier, but the temperature this morning when I left home was about 54. So it's usually about five degrees cooler or so, depending on where you're at here in the mountains. But uh, so close to 50, maybe 49. But uh, we're just on the cusp of getting into fall, uh, which will be awesome here with all the colors starting to change. And then uh, the uh, winter time, which is my absolute favorite. But when I pulled in this morning here at the parking lot, there was one car in front of me. They were just getting out, and uh, so I went ahead and stopped here. I'm actually in front of them. That's why I'm <laughs> huffing and puffing. I'm trying to get up here so I can get my video of the waterfall before anybody else shows up. But anyway, just want to let you know the temperatures are starting to cool off finally. Last week I was in Townsend. I put out a little video about that, and the highs were up in uh, in the 90s, and it was miserable. But starting to cool off a little bit so fall is just around the corner but anyway uh let's go on up here and get a shot of the the waterfall and see what that looks like all right so this is probably the best view on this particular trail so i'll give you a shot of that real quick as you can see the sun starting to come up over the mountains yeah pretty awesome all right so here we have laurel falls Looks like the water level's down, but I was expecting that because it's been fairly dry. But this winter it will replenish again with a lot of rainfall. Let's go over here and check this out real quick. Yeah, there you have it, Laurel Falls. All right, so that is Laurel Falls. It's about 2.6 miles round trip. Take about an hour, maybe a little more, depending on how much time you want to spend up here. Uh, pretty awesome waterfall. 
Uh, we'll warn you though, this one is one of the most popular trails probably hiked in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, so it can get crowded at times. So just make sure you try to get up here early or come in an off-peak uh, time. But other than that, pretty awesome. Water level's down right now just because we haven't had a lot of rain, but that'll pick up this winter. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video though. If you did, please hit the like button. I'd also go ahead and ask you hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. It'll just give you a notification the next time I publish another video. But until next time, just keep walking.